I, I think that it sold you guys because yeah. Core bought it. He probably did. He might have taken it. <laughs> yeah. So, but there are other great finds there. Um, yeah. I hear uh, our director Karen. She's been there before. She said it's a really great place. Cool and I love yep. love that we have stores like that. Yeah. Beautiful day out. Beautiful day I out mean, to go vintage shopping. Yeah. Just be out and about. Yeah. A and our days of the sunny weather. Well, they are numbered, and that has also okay. brought us some chillier early morning lows, giving us some unique sights. Yeah, that is frost, otherwise known as hoar frost, H-O-A-R frost. Very unique name and a unique shape. You can almost see that it has some sharp edges to it as it develops on many of those cold surfaces. This was out towards the Council Crest area that was able to actually snap later in the afternoon hour. So even in the shady spots up in elevation a little bit, you are still holding on to some of your unique frost. But how does frost actually form? Well, in a typical summer day or summer morning, I should say, you get that dew to develop. But during the cold winter months, that dew, it forms and then it freezes and those coldest temperatures nearly sit near the surface where our actual temperature reading is typically up off the ground a little bit. So our forecasted temperatures or our actual temperatures could be slightly above the freezing mark. But yeah, right there along the grassy surfaces, likely at or below freezing and thus you get that unique shape of frost. As far as our early morning temperatures went, just look at Hood River back in the teens for us earlier today. 20s up and down the I-5 quarter, low 20s out towards Hillsboro, and even seeing those 20s for some of our coastal spots. It's calm, quiet, clear conditions right now. Made for a great afternoon, but another cold night is ahead for us. That's where the National Weather Service has gone ahead and issued that cold weather advisory once more. Goes into effect tonight at 10, takes us through 10 a.m. on your Tuesday, so use the caution if you're are going to be spending any prolonged amount of time outdoors as those cold, chilly early morning lows stay with us all the way through Thursday, anticipating a bit of a warming trend by Friday back up into the low 40s. And that all comes as our weather pattern starts to change. High pressure, the dominant weather feature as of late, giving us the dry and sunny weather that starts to break down. A stronger trough pushes its way back into the Pacific Northwest, not only dropping our temperatures, but also increasing our potential for not only rain, but also some heavy mountain snow and and maybe even a snowflake or two down close to the valley. Right now we're depicting maybe close to about a thousand feet by the time we get into Saturday, Sunday, keeping that cool weather trend going Monday into Tuesday as well. So we're really kind of highlighting Saturday, Sunday and Monday of this weekend and the start of next week. Anywhere from about 500 to a thousand feet, a potential to pick up. Uh, maybe just a stray snowflake or two, but our confidence level still remains relatively low. So here's a bit of a breakdown of what we could potentially see as far as the metro area just actually seeing the snowflake or two. It's possible, but not likely to see it accumulate on the grassy spots or on our roadways. As we do see some conflicting models, these are long range, so they're not the high definition models that will likely get in by about Wednesday or so, but there is some conflict, so that's where our confidence just isn't there. But I am confident that we're going to start to build back up that base layer for many of our ski resorts as we work our way through the weekend and the start of next week. But boy, 30 degrees is our expected temperature for tonight with those calm, quiet, clear conditions. Horror ice likely forming once again as we get back up to about 50 degrees. We get plenty of sunshine yet again tomorrow. But I mentioned our sunny days, their number, the final sunshine that we expect to see will be on the Lunar New Year, which is Wednesday, a high of 50 degrees. That's above our average of the upper 40s, just by a few degrees. Then that wet weather potential increases Thursday night takes us into Friday where soaking rains continue. The snow elevation level starts to dip as we approach February 1st, which is on Saturday, mm -hmm. takes us into a chilly weekend oh. and the start of next week as well. Okay, inter interesting mix in your forecast there. Yeah, something uh, to make it a little bit more exciting than what it has been. Yeah. 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 All right. Thanks, Josh. Uh -huh. Well, the stage is set for Super Bowl.